What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I bring you news that's come over the past few hours and it resides around the Abaddon and the Nova Mortis and how the quest in which these are obtained is triggered. But before we get into that, if you guys want to be with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist Emblem, drop a like on the video and leave a comment. Can we reach 7,000 likes? That would be absolutely epic. Winner will be picked in a few days so keep an eye on your YouTube inbox. Okay, so interviewed by IGN, Rise of Iron's executive producer Scott Taylor gave details on these two exotic weapons and how they are obtained. So with the dawning event, we get a new record book. This record book, which I thought was for Spiral Racing League only, actually has a second page dedicated to strikes and strike scoring. Talking about the Abaddon and the Nova Mortis, he states, and I quote, these weapons are obtained from a quest given for when you're trying to complete the record book. The record book is themed around the dawning and there is a page all about spiral racing and a page all about strike scoring. Completing aspects of the record book is going to trigger, if you watch the trailer you would have seen that there were some gifts, there are some very large gifts and those are done by doing the record book and you're going to get some quests that come out of that which is going to kick you on your journey of getting these exotics. So guys, that's basically what he said. Now we knew these come from quests, but we didn't know how the quests were triggered. Now we do. It's for doing parts of the record book. Interestingly though, which is definitely worth mentioning, the record book, like I said, contains a page for both strikes and spiral racing. The book after the dawning ends will still be available for you to make progress with, even when spiral racing is gone, because it will be available through private games. You can complete aspects of the record book via these private games, so you won't miss out on anything the record book offers loot wise. Another thing to mention as well is that we're going to get a new way to obtain ornaments. When the dawning event arrives, a separate kiosk will open in the tower which sells individual ornaments for silver so you don't have to gamble away your money getting duplicates which are useless. This for those who want to collect all ornaments like me is great news as I've wasted a shit ton of money buying these treasure packages which have turned out to be absolute useless. In the IGN video he does mention that they are bought with silver but can you buy them with silver dust is the question I have. I have quite a bit stacked so hopefully you can. Either way, this is how it should have been from the get go. Glad it's coming soon, so I don't have to waste no more money. But yes guys, the Abaddon and Nova Mortis, the quest for these exotic weapons is triggered by doing parts of the record book. If you guys want to check out the full IGN interview with Scott Taylor, I will link that in the video description, so check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, thanks as always for stopping by and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right, left in the dark. 